I've been hearing a lot about Dane's Craft Barbecue in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for a long time. My buddy Wes over at Wicker's Pepper Jelly, he's been raving about them for a while. Then I see them on Texas uh, Top 50, and then I see them on Meat Church's channel cooking this amazing pork belly brisket. And so I knew I had to give it a try because between all of those, these guys are certainly legit, and I can't wait to get down there and try them out in person. It's been a while since I've been able to find a pork belly, um, but we got this little fella. Uh, he's about five pounds, a little under five pounds, but four, four and three quarters. So um, we're not going to do a whole lot of trimming up on it. We're just going to make sure it has a good shape. There's no stragglers, no little small pieces hanging off that are going to burn. Then we're going to hit it with a little bit of Meat Church Holy Gospel. I know that's not what they use at Danes, but I uh, figured I may as well represent the uh, congregation while I'm out there. So let's get this trimmed up. We're gonna get it uh, rubbed down with a little bit of holy gospel. And then we're gonna throw it in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so while we get our old country pecos up to heat. Three hours into this and the wind is picking up I, I apologize to everybody because I think I am the catalyst that makes the wind blow because every time I'm cooking the wind's blowing according to uh, Dane's barbecue Matt Pittman and all them this should cook for right around four to four and a half hours so we should be getting pretty close to being done I'm gonna check to see how moist it is on the surface that looks absolutely amazing Got some moisture there on the surface, really starting to build up some bark, some beautiful color. I am gonna tip it just a little bit so that that's not pulled up on there. Beautiful color. Um, it's still pretty moist on the outside, so I'm not gonna spritz it at all. I'm gonna leave this open for a second and we're gonna throw another log on the fire. And for those of you who are following us, who've seen all of our uh, our modifications done to the pit. Um, it seems like about an eight inch by two, two and a half, maybe even up to a three inch, this is kind of one of the smaller ones, um, is burning perfectly in this pit. Um, so I'm adding one to two every half hour um, and it's keeping a good solid 275. If I was cooking low and slow, I could probably add one every hour and just strategically place it and it would be just fine. So it's burning both efficient and effectively. So we're gonna let this log get started. Let some of the smoke clear up a little bit. Close her down for the last hour. That's why we just can't have nothing nice. It blew in a turd floater. I'm telling you, if I was a smart man, I'd just take the hints. Never ceases to fail. If I'm in the middle of a cook or about to do a cook, boy, the bottom falls out of a storm cloud or the wind blows like crazy. 
never seems to fail. Every time I cook, bottom falls out and the wind blows. I'm going to use my Magna Chef gloves to uh, pull this beautiful succulent pork butt out. We're going to get it wrapped up and let it rest uh, for uh, about 30-45 minutes before we slice into it. Try it out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ooh wee! Look at that bark, baby. Huh? Beautiful. Check this out. <laughs> Bounces. All right. So we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna let this beautiful baby sit for a minute. I probed it earlier. Let's do it again. Oh. It just popped right through that fat cap like it's nothing. My dog's chewed on this a little bit. I cleaned it, but uh, it acts up. Ooh-wee! I mean like nothing. That fat is so... It, it's only temping at 185, but I mean it's, it's probing more tender than a finished brisket would be, so I'm calling it done. Rep, rep, rep. Sorry about the foil noise. Do da, do da, da 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 Come back to taste it. This has been sitting for 30, 45 minutes. Cool enough for me to handle without extra gloves on. Let's make all this foil noise for you. Get this bad boy pulled out so you can look at it. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So all that section is back on there. That fat rendered so well. So. Take a look at that. Man, that looks good. I'm going to get it in here for, for a picture real fast because camera's got to eat too. Ooh wee. Look at that bark. So pretty. Mm. Yummy, yummy. All right, we're going to go ahead and slice into it. Now, I made a mark. I don't know if you noticed that while we were uh, getting it rubbed down right there, so I knew which direction the grain was running. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and slice into it. Let's go see how she does. Slice is so easy. Beautiful. Really pretty. It's just so Beautiful and moist. I'm cutting it pretty thick because I think it's going to be too tender to be uh, slicing thin. Boy, that looks good. This meat church, the Holy Gospel, smells amazing. God, that's just falling over. Absolutely gorgeous. Take a slice for, for testing. Slice for tasting. Oops. So slice like a normal brisket. <laughs> Bin test is amazing. 
right, I'm going to cut off a piece so we can take a bite. I don't know how well that smoke ring is coming in, but you can see, man, it's got a great one. Let's take a bite, see how this Holy Gospel Danes Craft Barbecue Meat Church Collaboration Pork Belly Brisket tastes. Mmm. So much flavor. It's like a really good pork steak, but with just that texture is, is so much more tender. Um, it, it has a brisket texture, but man, that's good. I need another piece. Mm, let's go make some good sandwiches. Guys. I want to appreciate you for sticking around with us, hanging out with us, and I hope you try this cookout. You won't be upset at all by this. Your family's going to love it. The bark buildup is absolutely amazing on these pork belly briskets. Flavor's great. Mm. It's just so good. I can't stop eating it. But I have to. So, give this a try, guys. This is Brisket Medic. I love you. Make sure you drink more water. Cook outside. Doesn't matter if it's windy, rainy, snowy. You know, act like uh, your barbecue pits, the post office, and rain, sleet, or snow won't keep you away. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, make sure you please do so. We'd love to have you join our team here at Brisket Medic. And let me know down in the comments below what kind of stick burner you have and which one you'd like to have. We've got some more modifications coming up to this bad boy. And they're gonna be a little bit more major than what we've done already. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a couple of more uh, competition videos here pretty soon because for the first time in three years, I've enrolled in a few. We'll see how that goes. Love you guys, three more water.